Hello ladies and welcome back or if you're new here, welcome. Hello, my name is Samantha and it is great to have you. I upload new videos every single Sunday, so I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below and join us here on my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing all of the secrets I have for making a long haul flight slightly more enjoyable. Whether this is your very first trip overseas and you're looking for tips on how to pack, or you're just wanting to level up your carry-on game, I've got you. We're going over all of the items I refuse to travel without, and you'll want to stay till the end because I will be giving away all of my favorite products to one lucky subscriber. So stay tuned and let's get started. My carry-on is divided into three categories for convenience, and those three categories are the basics, skincare, and extras. They are all equally important, but we will be starting with the basics. So in my opinion, the basics are the items that I think everyone should have in their carry-on regardless of where they're going, regardless of how long the flight is. These things are necessities. I have them all put in this cute little woven basket from Forever 21 for convenience. So if I need anything in here, I can just take this out of my carry-on and be on my merry way. I'm not scrambling around in the overhead compartment. So the very first item in here is dry shampoo or texturizing powder, call it what you will. This is by Unite. This is my favorite, hands down. However, any type of dry shampoo would do the trick. I love keeping this in my carry-on because right before you touch down, you apply a little bit of this to your roots, give it a shake. You can put your hair in a cute bun or just leave it down and it just refreshes your whole look. Next, to be coupled with the dry shampoo, a brush. This is a mini version. This is from Dry Bar. It's very cute. It gets the job done. We don't want to be leaving the plane with knots in our hair, so I keep one of these on me at all times. Another absolute necessity is deodorant. I don't care what brand you use. I don't care if it's organic and made of cornstarch. Please, people, just bring your deodorant on a plane. There's nothing wrong with touching yourself up when you get on a plane or when you get to your destination. We are looking and smelling our best all summer 2019. Non-negotiable. For those of you who are familiar with Naomi Campbell's debut onto YouTube, you will know all about these and just how important they are. These are Purell disinfectant wipes and these are great for so many reasons. If you spill something on yourself, Purell disinfectant wipe. If your neighbor is sneezing and you think that their germs are infringing on your territory, Purell disinfectant wipe. Clean your phone, clean your seat, clean your screen, clean literally everything in your vicinity because people are animals and they don't wash their hands in airports. If nobody has told you that before, I will tell you. So protect yourself. On a similar note, we have some Cetaphil face wipes. These are more so for cleansing your face as one would assume from the name. I do not wear makeup onto a plane. However, I do multiple face masks more about those later. So I like to use these to prep my face before cleansing it. So these are great and they can also be used as hand or body wipes if needed. So picture this, you take your Purell wipes, you clean everything in your area, you cleanse your hands because that's important too. You wipe down your phone screen, you toss your wipe in the garbage, and now your hands are feeling dry. What do you do? Do you wait the seven to 14 hours to land at your destination to get your lotion from your bag? Do you try the airline's lotion and leave ultimately disappointed? No, you bring your own hand cream like a responsible adult and everything is just fine. So this is Cake's Heavy Cream Hand Cream. It smells like cake batter and it's extremely nourishing. So it's great, 10 out of 10, would recommend. So get you some of this or whatever brand you prefer and avoid having ashy hands for six hours because that will stress you out. Been there, done that. I would not recommend. This is yet another extremely underrated accompaniment to a carry-on. This is a mini lint roller because on a plane of 300 strangers, there's always going to be hairs and fuzzies and mysterious particles floating around that you don't want to take to your final destination. So 
get you one of these and before you leave the plane give yourself a quick roll to make sure your outfit is looking just as cute as it was when you got on the plane next up we have one of my favorite items which is the face mask this one is especially luxurious because it is fuzzy on the front and it has satin on the interior plus it's black which means no light is getting in if you are a light sleeper like me these things are an absolute must-have especially if they're so soft like who cannot sleep when it feels like you've got a rabbit laying on your face like life changer i swear this is something you would have seen if you watched my what's in my $2,500 dump bag video. This is a battery pack for your cell phone. These are so important because nobody wants to get on a plane and have their phone die just to realize that their seat has the one plug that is broken. So come prepared and when you land in your strange destination and you don't have a converter for their plugs, you're still covered. I love these so much, I'll be including one of these in the giveaway along with a couple of the other items you guys have already seen, so keep on watching because those details are coming soon. My final suggestions in the basic category are Advil because who wants to get a headache one hour into a seven hour flight and suffer for six hours? Not me. And melatonin because if you're adjusting to a new time zone it's a struggle and these will help substantially these are sublinguals but you can also get pills and they are so great for adjusting to jet lag now for the final item in the basic category a hand mirror these are lifesavers because you never know when something's going to get stuck in your teeth or when the cabin crew dims the lights and you'll have to apply your face mask in the dark these really come in handy. So mirrors are super important. Just try not to break it and curse yourself with seven years of bad luck. While I understand that a lot of people like to take a break from their skincare while they're on vacation, I am the absolute opposite of that. I bring my skincare on the plane and it's not uncommon for me to do multiple face masks while I'm in the air. So let's dive into my skincare. As I said, I do not wear makeup on flights. However, I do bring some micellar water. This is just a trial from Dior that I'm bringing because I have it. This is what I would use when I get on the plane to cleanse my face of whatever bacteria it is accumulated. I would use that with some cotton pads. These are unexciting. They're the premium ones. They don't flake. They get the job done. After my micellar water, I will follow with my lotion P50 1970. This is a holy grail item. I cannot go without this. From the day I found this solution, I have not gone a single day without it. So I have a mini for the plane. And again, this is something I would apply with the cotton pads. To follow that up, I would do a mask such as this. This is OK's Overnight Mask. I love this mask because it does not need to be washed off. So you can put on a thick layer, go for a nap, eat your dinner, watch a movie, do whatever you need to do, and then you're good to go. I would personally do this mask, go for a nap, wake up, and then do this mask. I love this mask so much. Honestly, this is my number one mask in all the world. It is so hard to find, but it is so worth it. Whenever I go to Hong Kong, I stock up on this mask strictly because I've never seen it in North America. This is the Uzu Gold Foil Mask, and it is phenomenal because it is a sheet mask that has an outer layer of gold. So one, that's opulent AF and it looks very, very bougie. And secondly, the layer of gold prevents the moisture from escaping the mask, which means it's more effective for longer. So this is a mask you can leave on your face for like four hours and it is still moist, which I love. That makes it perfect for a long haul flight. I will honestly do one or two of these flights when I go to Asia and I leave the plane looking like a refreshed goddess. It's amazing. This is actually the item that spurred the idea for the giveaway that I'm going to be doing because I love these masks so much and I've recommended them to you all so many times, but I feel bad because they're very difficult to come by. So I'm going to be giving away a box of them to one of you subscribers. So make sure, as I said, subscribers, 
make sure you're subscribed make sure you leave a comment down below telling me what one thing you cannot travel without you know i've got a lot there's a lot of stuff in this carry-on what is one thing that i have not mentioned that you need in your carry-on so leave that comment down below make sure you're subscribed the winner will be announced in my next video so you have one full week to like comment and subscribe so after i've done my two face masks my skin is feeling very moisturized very hydrated it's looking good i do have a couple final items i use just to make sure i look my best when i leave the plane i always use a moisturizer of course this time i'm bringing two samples i got from sephora the peptide cream from drunk elephant and then tatcha's water cream these are samples they fit in my bag nicely so i'm bringing them i have no thoughts on them at the moment but what i like to do is mix my choice of moisturizer with drunk elephants debronzy serum this has a little bit of color to it so i think it looks very very nice when it's mixed with a moisturizer it refreshes your complexion and you leave the plane looking awake another way to make sure that you leave your plane looking awake is of course eye cream this is kiehl's creamy avocado eye cream this is my go-to. I have nothing bad to say about it. I really enjoy it. I do also mix it with Blistex Medicated Lip Ointment. I don't know what this is medicated with. I don't know why this works, but I was watching a Charles Gross video. I don't really watch his videos anymore, but I did it one time. And he claimed that putting medicated Blistex under your eyes will depuff them. So I have been mixing this with my eye cream and I find it makes a nice improvement. Next we have facial mists. I am obsessed with facial mists, so I'm bringing two of them. One from Aven, one from Biologique Recherche. They have slightly different effects, so I bring both. Pretty self-explanatory. They're great. It's a phenomenal way to wake yourself up after a long flight. While this is technically not skincare, I am going to include it in this category simply out of convenience. Crest White Strips because why not? If you're going to be sitting on a plane for many hours, you might as well improve your appearance in some way. So bring some white strips with you. Moving on to the extras. These are the items I bring with me to make the most out of my time on a flight. They are a distraction from crying babies and it's a great way to practice self-improvement instead of binge watching B-list movies. And how do you self-improve instead of binge watching B-list movies? You bring books. Books that actually appeal to you and books on numerous topics. Don't just pick up a book in the airport and hope that it will work and it will distract you because chances are it's going to suck and you're going to return it as soon as you get to your destination. So bring a bunch of books that you actually enjoy. I've got books on psychology, books on the law of attraction, books on crushing it, shouts out Gary Vee, and more psychology. And what goes better with a good book than a cup of tea? I bring my own loose tea leaves as well as a tea steeper that just sits in a glass and I am content. I love drinking tea. I am actually obsessed. I could not possibly count the amount of tea I drink on an airplane, but it's definitely in the double digits. So I'm bringing the turmeric gold from David's Tea. The steeper is also from David's Tea. And then I have this ginger turmeric box right here that's coming with me as well. I'm really focusing on the ginger and turmeric for my flight because my immune system has not been doing her best and I know that those two things are supposed to make an improvement. So hopefully my tea will protect me from the germs of strangers. Next up we have a journal for comments, thoughts, self-reflections, drawing strangers, odd outfits, whatever you so choose. I use a pen from Muji because they're amazing. This is the only pen I will ever write with. I keep a couple on me at all times. And this journal is from Indigo. And that was the last item. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I packed in my carry-on. And if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also bring a water bottle with you because it's 2019. We're not buying bottles of water in the airport and contributing to all of the garbage going in our oceans. So come prepared, stay hydrated.